Here I'll talk about sentence level presupposition, which is obviously related to the overall uh, role of presupposition in critical discourse analysis. Uh, presuppositions are extremely important to find certain meanings, hidden ideologies, and in this regard, a sentence level presuppositions play an important role because we can see that uh, based on our study that numerous ideological assumptions are presented as given are taken for granted uh, through classical sentence level uh, presuppositions through sentence level presuppositions people assume that certain things have happened or try to convey certain things uh, according to their desire let's have a look at certain examples down here did you know if you just read it these sentences one by one and I try to explain them in later on I'll read the first sentence did you know that 23 percent of men prefer watching television than reading books uh, this information is repeated in the next sentence also with a different structure the latest research survey reveals that 23 percent of men prefer television and other sedentary sports to reading the same thing has been emphasized and the next statement is stop nagging about his work nagging is something is a kind of a noisy reaction complaining about something or talking loudly about something so let's see how they could be interpreted in certain situations the example one which was about uh, men uh, preferring a certain kind of activity over reading, watching television over TV. TV is a kind of informative presupposition which sets ground for, for a new information. And, and in this situation, this is repeated in the example 2 also. And these examples have been taken, taken from the same discourse uh, piece and, and which, which is based on a certain advertisement. Uh, why it is done? So, because uh, it was repeated to emphasize on it, to presuppose the fact which has been, uh, which has been, pre uh, to emphasize on the fact which has been presupposed in the previous sentence in, in a more emphatic manner. And the presupposition is something which, uh, uh, which is about, uh, which is about uh, placing a new information that a certain number of men or certain percentage of men do not uh, uh, do not read instead they like to uh, watch television and other activities down there so uh, this is somehow uh, is presented in a way that this is new to the reader and at the same time this is uh, incontestable also when the stats are there and we we, we see the examples that 23% uh, of the men uh, do not uh, do prefer uh, watching television over reading we see that it has been presented it has been set in a background in which the reader or the listener would find that he is getting a new information which is not challengeable all right and this has been emphasized in the second sentence also if we go further in this sense we can say the information is only backgrounded in, re in relation to the reader's ignorance of it up till now so it has been shown in a way that a reader would assume or or other people would assume that reader was ignorant of this fact that how many percentage of people uh, prefer watching television over uh, over reading uh, this is definitely the case and not that we don't know it we just assume by by reading such things this emphasis on ignorance has further pragmatic function also and what is it this new information is not only incontestable and, uh, and so far unknown, but also surprising and potentially upsetting. Setting in a way and setting it time and again actually presupposes that uh, this is somehow very important, uh, a surprising and upsetting information also. This is because uh, on the speech act, uh, this serves to justify the necessity of the advice as a felicity condition. So it, it actually argues that there should be certain solution of this uh, and there should be certain piece of advice. But it looks very abnormal if we start uh, solving a non-existent problem. Therefore, in political discourses and in many other discourses, especially uh, media discourses, uh, the politicians' discourses, 
as well as the advertisement discourses it is found that a certain problem is shown out of proportion or is created so that uh, a certain ideology certain uh, certain commercial item may be spread over uh, may be realized to the people that it is necessary for them politicians usually said their ideologies just emphasize on their power relations and advertisements uh, sell products based on such uh, such techniques i repeat people are usually made to realize that a certain thing does exist certain problem does exist and it is very acute and upsetting in nature and there comes a solution uh, as it happens that uh this this kind of upsetting information that people men do not prefer uh reading uh over over television is somehow uh, is an ups- upsetting news for uh for many people similarly if you, if you just look at uh, the third statement on here stop nagging uh it clearly presupposes uh or it takes for granted that the reader nags and he is is engaging in a type of talk carrying negative uh, characteristics uh i mean it's a kind of advice now stop nagging and focus on 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 certain things uh, and it is probably when the discourse where i have taken it it it, uh, it is about men and women and this is a kind of piece of advice to women that stop nagging uh, about uh, about uh, your partner your male partner's work and try to uh, contribute into his life positively so stop nagging actually presupposes uh, assumptions about women's talk and it is it is through this these expressions that we know that it it is about women it presupposes that women are uh, women do nag uh, as they do uh, according to some people and according to this discourse this discourse presupposes that they the women nag usually therefore it is advised stop nagging and uh, about their work and try to focus on your relationship uh, also they they complain um, this is generally this is what has been presupposed in this uh, communication and this is how an ideology has been conveyed it may may not sound good to many people but this is uh, this is the presupposed ideology on which this mas- message is based on though it is not clearly manifest manifested but we can understand this through the analysis of presuppositions and and it has been uh, presupposed as i said a while ago that women do nag i'll just present some examples of clause or sentence level presuppositions further here you can see there could be temporal clauses which refer to time and the words like before x x is it refers to certain event since x after whenever as during if you just look at the example down here during the war of 1812 the british burned down the white house and the presupposition here is there was a war of 1812 and then we have cleft sentences also which presuppose for example what john ate was a chicken burger so we uh, we what we assume presuppose there is through this cleft that john ate something similarly we have contrastors in contrast of intonations or constructions like to back in return or comparative as clause we try to build certain presuppositions also just look at this example john hit mary back that actually implies presupposes that mary also hit john and john responded uh, and hit her also uh there are certain counterfactuals which i'll share share it these are conditional or modal expressions stating facts uh, contrary to how the world is for example if john had entered the raffle he would have won john did not enter the raffle this is how we see he john didn't uh, enter the raffle ticket and he didn't win these are some of the examples which can be shown as sentence level presuppositions to sum this up uh, i may say that presuppositions are extremely important to unearth the hidden ideologies and this in this regard 
the sentence level conventional speaking have been the sentence level presuppositions have been playing an important role in hiding the ideologies and by unearthing these sen sentence level presuppositions we can actually conduct a critical discourse analysis in an extremely expert way